There was a dark tournament long ago in this universe. It was 50 years ago when Togoro, please excuse this closed caption and that's not what it said. They're talking about Togoro, the actual anime character. 50 years ago, they competed in a tournament. Togoro did because Togoro was a martial arts fighter with students. And that's also the same time when Togoro became a demon. And that's when the tragedy comes in when it comes to Togoro. His apprentices were massacred by the tournament's reigning champion, the doggone demon Chiron. After that tragic event happened, he didn't face that monster at that time, but he just went into the woods and vanished. And then when he came back to his team, he seemed a lot different, colder, detached from everything. Strength was everything at that point. He did end up getting his sweet revenge on this demon that killed his students. He won in the final round, but his prize was to become a demon after like that's a reward for winning it all. There was a theory that it was guilt for not protecting his students or punishing himself, one could say. And the only way to atone to him in his eyes was to never be vulnerable again, was the theory. Basically, he's just a normal man with a wounded heart and shattered dreams. Misunderstood character. Wasn't really a bad person all the way, if you know what I'm saying. He was like the first main, main boss for the main character, Yusuke. But when it comes to his power, how strong is he, though? Just like almost everybody in this universe that's a beast, he's some sort of demon. And he has the ability to increase his power level by certain percentages. 1%, 10%, 7%. You get the idea. A human turn demon the reason why his body changes muscle mass and etc because he can regulate his power of demon energy increasing his physical strength durability to a certain degree longing to finally get a challenge at his 100 percent just to give you an understanding of how strong he is he's not even using any of his power like to regulate himself this could technically be either one percent or zero percent does this to his brother like way off so he's massively way more than normal human level obviously even when he's not really using that much demon energy at all even flicking heads off for pete's sake yeah he's just that strong just turning up the heat to immediately 20 percent he does damage meaning nowhere near his max he carries an entire tournament ring as you can see a lot of it is off screen but you can get an idea i've seen folks calculated to be 600 tons if he can lift 600 tons with ease at 20 percent that means by the time he makes it to 100 percent, he can lift over 3,000 tons with ease but i ain't even getting to that yet back to his lower percentage of stuff he can still do crazy stuff no head for you through a window amping himself up to 30 percent big old creatures that are actually way larger than himself he can just power up to 30 percent and catch his arm in the process and splatter him into pieces with just a simple punch back when the main characters were weaker cool barons etc of the yu Hakusho cast they tried to stab him and it just couldn't do nothing even when he was only at 20 percent showing that his durability can just stand up with ease too and he can move very fast even at 20% when it comes to blitzing and just being a straight up blur. Kuwabara tries to do all these attacks, blocks them all with his fighting speed and pushes him away with ease at 20%. They're 2v1 of him and they're nothing to him. Look at the distance they are away from each other. That fast where they could barely avoid him coming. Then if we're talking about him turning up the heat to 40%, during this tournament, team of demons with one punch, no one near his might is they get splattered into pieces. Yikes. One punch each. Night night to y'all. Here you can pretty much see him flexing the Yusuke when they first fought that he was just trolling him. Last time he was only at 20% when he supposedly thought he had won against him but he really wasn't trying at all. Him using 60% of his power here to show him how crazy he could get. Talking about how he can mess up a building with ease like this. That totally makes sense. Look how he zips behind him before he can even see him. Raw speed. When he juices it up to 80% fighting against Genkai made a big crater this big and... Just for comparison, even he at the time, of course he surpasses him later on in the series, but he at the time, using his punching power attacks to make a crater of his own, look at the difference. Togoro, he was a monster, you know what I mean? His aura alone at 80% was able to overwhelm Yusuke right here. Just the wind of his attacks do this to the arena. And this occasion, catching Yusuke's attack, goes ahead and punches him through some trees, because why not? And here we go with them destroying stages. Here we go. All this energy he can produce. Talk about the moment of truth. 100%. But then that's not all because he had different stages of this. 100% and 120% pushing past his own freaking limits. But at 100% he's strong enough to blow apart the arena just from him flexing his power to go to 100%. A quarter of the audience has been wiped out thanks to this. Simply flexing and powering up. There seems to be a drastic difference between 80% and 100% even though it's only a 20% increase apparently when it comes to numbers. This is the last spirit gun that Yusuke used against him when he was at a lower percentage, blasted through the stadium and the arena to the distance. But a similar spirit gun at him like this, he simply flexes it out of the way. Like, bruh, it seems like the difference between 80 and 100% seems to be vast. 
It was getting so hectic. They tried to blitz to Goro. Nah, bro, y'all get flicked. The fact that he's trying to push Yusuke to his limits. Look at this punch. Yusuke does to him. He blocks it with a freaking thumb. There's a drastic difference between 80 and 100% when it comes to this guy. How do you go from actually being damaged a little bit to like a finger being enough to block his attack? Then simply punching and messing his arm up. Like yikes. Despite his size and mass steadily increasing, it doesn't seem to weigh him down when it comes to speed and blitzing, punching him to the stand. And even slaps him through a wall. Did I forget to mention on top of his being able to raise his strength, his durability is crazy, you already know that. But guess what? It kind of gives him regenerative properties. An example of how he was at 80% during his fight with Genkai, a big chunk of his arm was literally gone. He was able to pop it back on. Are you serious? Genkai is the being that trained Yusuke for him to even be able to compete against the Goro, by the way, for those that didn't know. And he's able to stop attacks from her blast. Yusuke, when he did a spirit gun into Goro, when he was at a mere 80%, was stood a blast that far. The stadium got jacked up, and he mostly was fine afterwards. You see that big old gash in the woods? These two were producing enough power to take out a town, a small one, but he was okay at 80% durability-wise. At 100%, when Yusuke was finally getting close to the level to be able to compete with him, he got his neck popped, and he was able to recuperate back from that just straight up immediately. But before then, when Yusuke was actually a little of a challenge to 80%, he was punching him and just straight up ignoring his attack before Yusuke got pushed to the edge. Yeah, badly. Blitzed and drives him to the ground because of crazy speed. When Yusuke had enough of his crap, blasted to girl when he was at 120% with one of the mightiest spear guns ever. This was actually tough for him and he broke it apart with his raw strength. So girl's one of those characters where he didn't get much love in the series after that arc was over. But yeah, he could effortlessly level buildings, but he wouldn't be considered anywhere near Yusuke at the end of the series though, or he at the end of the series. He's like an early of the series type of character. You know what I mean? But what do you guys think? Did you know Tagoro was this strong? Do you think he could level a city in half? I mean, we haven't necessarily seen him do it, but it's a, it's a possibility since leveling a building is effortless for him and even probably a town even at 60 percent and not to mention there's a chance that his percentages might be bigger than what we're thinking his 80 percent to 100 percent seemed like ridiculously crazy to me but that's none of my business but before i get going i got to give a quick shout out to the donations though thank you guys for donating to the channel helps out a lot respect to goro I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.